will we have to wait for August for the good weather too? I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, you say that, but actually today was really rather nice and the last few days have been OK. I mean, it's not been brilliant, I'm but being we've too had hard. 15 or 16, which is not bad at all for the time of year. As far as the next few days are concerned, though, a very different feel to our weather. So here we go in a little more detail. Sunshine and showers very much the order of things, but already changes on the way. It hasn't reached us yet, but uh, it's out in the Irish Sea and it's a cold front. It's going to bring colder conditions and yes, the possibility of something a little wintry as we head into the coming weekend. So before you panic, please don't. We're talking about the possibility of some sleet and maybe some hail at lower levels, but absolutely nothing that is going to hang around for too long because quite quickly that cold front will be a dim and distant memory and the uh, milder temperatures will return. So something of a blip. Watch your tender plants if you've been in the garden because we could see some frost too but uh, here we go in a little more detail it just sort of feels all kinds of wrong to be talking about sleet and hail especially now spring is officially here but it's just Easter, just around the corner what are we talking about that for i don't we'll know. look forward to that we won't talk about the easter forecast just yet you've sprinkled the positivity for now <laughs> thanks well, it's very much a case of the calm before the cold front out there at the moment. It's generally dry across much of Wales with cloudy skies, a little bit misty and murky around the hills and mountains, but we've still got this keen breeze. Over the next few hours, though, the cold front I've been talking about will start to show its hand, sinking into northern areas and edging southwards and eastwards by the early hours of tomorrow morning. Some heavy downpours on this cold front. But it does actually keep temperatures from dropping too far tonight. So I know I've been saying it's going to be cold, but perhaps not as cold as it could be and will be over the coming weekend. So we're looking at general values of around seven or eight degrees by the time most of us wake to tomorrow morning. So across central and southern parts of Wales, it's going to be a particularly soggy start to the day. But the good news is that frontal system will clear away quite quickly. Again, that's thanks in part to quite a keen breeze. And you'll notice the winds have switched direction. They are far more northerly. And it's these northerly winds that we have to thank for the drop in temperature, a few degrees down on today's values by tomorrow. We're still hitting double figures, 11 or 12. But uh, if you do catch that breeze, it's going to feel colder still. So as I say, a mixture of bright sunny spells, but uh, showers never going to be too far away into the afternoon, but nothing too heavy. As far as your outlook period is concerned, well, in, we head into the coming weekend. Friday night into Saturday is going to be quite a chilly one. And you can just about see, if you look closely over the hills and mountains, these white areas show where we could well see possibly some sleet, maybe some hail falling as well. But at lower levels, shouldn't be anything to worry about at all. There will be plenty of dry weather and some decent spells of sunshine. As far as the rest of the weekend is concerned, well, you can see already the temperature starting to recover.